Hello and welcome to the second day in the road that we get to do a NASCAR preview. Um, this one here is for the Sprint All-Star Race. The Sprint All-Star Race is a bit different than the Sprint Showdown. The Sprint Showdown, which we reviewed yesterday, was a 20 lap race. Uh, well, actually a 40 lap race with two 20 lap segments, which would decide who would be uh, the two drivers that would get to race their way into the All-Star Race. And then who would um, be in the All-Star Race uh, by the fan vote. So, yesterday, Greg Biffle won the first uh, round of the All-Star Race to continue the streak of um, Roush having cars in the All-Star Race since about the early 90s, I think it was. I'm not really sure what they said it was, but it was the early 90s that they had that, uh, their streak from. And for the second round, we had, looks like guy, Clint Boyer. And the fan vote went to Danica Patrick. So, Marjorie Stringer, who's currently second in points, is not in the all-star race. And well, my favorite driver, Kyle Larson, isn't either. So, that's part of the thing, but now we're going to talk exactly about what this whole all-star race thing does. Uh, now, in the all-star race, there are more rounds. Now, first of all, qualifying is pretty interesting. You know, they drive off the banking and do all this fancy stuff. So... That was interesting. The next thing is that I need to find the thing that tells exactly how the All-Star Race works. Or just not have it at all. I don't watch a video. Okay, so basically... What there is just a bunch of different rounds and stuff happens and you know people do their stuff in first place starting though is Denny Hamlin now there are five rounds I think each is 25 laps over these 25 lap segments I believe the way that it works is that whoever qualifies Whoever wins that sort of sets the round for the final 25 laps. Also, there's mandatory pit stops at certain times and some other fancy stuff. So I'm actually going to check on my Twitter. Let's see if I found it there. So I know that I retweeted something earlier. Where was it? Instagram? I don't know. I think it was Twitter. I didn't retweet something on Instagram. I know that. Smiles all around. I am... Did not mean to hit the wall there. I am trying to do two things at once. You know what? I'm just going to break right here at the line and then I'll find the thing. See if I can find it. See if I can find it. Skrill, skrill, skrill. Yeah. Seen it earlier. Okay. Here's how it works. There are four 25-lap segments. But first, let's say who's in the field. In the field, 2014 and 2015 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race winners. Past All-Star Race and NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champions. The Sprint Shirt on segment winners, which are Greg Biffle and Clint Boyer. And the Sprint Fan Vote. Segment 1, 25 laps. One no, pit stop optional. And I assume the winner of that first segment uh, will start the front of the final segment. I'm not entirely sure. Second round, 25 laps. Second segment, 25 laps. Pit stop optional. 
Segment 3, 25 laps. Pit stop optional. Now when I say pit stop optional, it's after the 25 laps. Segment 4, 25 laps. Pit stop mandatory. And segment 5, final 10 laps. Winner. After that. Race winner takes home one million dollars. So, here we go. I'm going to do a few laps here at Charlotte. And, um, to tell you, this here might be the final review that I do of NASCAR races with NASCAR 14. Because on the 22nd, NASCAR 15 comes out. So I should get the game, make the review of the Coca-Cola 600 with NASCAR 15. Driving as Jimmy Johnson, who won the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 at Kansas last week. So that will be the way we'll preview that. Now here, I'm racing as Kevin Harvick. Yesterday I previewed as Kyle Larson, as the driver that I fan voted for, and obviously who I hope to advance to the All-Star race. If he advanced, I would have raced as Kyle Larson, as I said yesterday. But, he did not advance, sadly. So I will drive as my second favorite driver, Kevin Harvick, who is here, uh, and he qualified, actually, in last place. Uh, because he slid through his pit box, because when they do what they do, like, a, you know, they drive off the banking over here in turn four and go down and pit, and he sort of slid through his pit box. So... that happens. So, um, yeah, it's exciting that we get to review with NASCAR 15 next time. Because I didn't really finish. I don't know why I went for that. But, yeah, we're going to review that. So that should be fun to do also. Now, here we go. So let's just look at a few of the lanes here, and then we'll, we're not really going to get much into the reviewing of the race as much as we do with the regular races, because... Well, let's do it differently, because there's more talking about what happens in it. Because it's different than the regular races. Because the regular race, they qualify. So basically, I just have to say who qualified where, who I think is going to win it, and who won last week, how they won, whatever. But this one here, there's, it's different. Um, so we guess we could say who won last year. Last year's winner was Jamie McMurray in the Sprint All-Star race. And he won that race. That's really all I've got to say. Because that happened last year, nobody cares. Um, so the winner gets one million dollars. We will see you next week, hopefully. Well, actually, yeah, probably will. Be reviewing with the game NASCAR 15 as Jimmy Johnson as we preview the Coca Cola 600. We will also talk about, well, the Sprint All Star race. And the race at Kansas, the SpongeBob SquarePants 400, which went for a few hours, longer than was expected. So we'll be talking about both things next week as we review the longest race of the season. We will see you then. Enjoy the Sprint All-Star Race, and uh, hopefully your driver's in it. If not, I s hope you still enjoy watching it, and uh, we will see who gets to have another million dollars in a few hours.